Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over section 3.4 of our virtual calculus text focusing on how to apply the power rule. Before we get started we're going to take a look at some formulas that will govern our computational process. So let's go ahead and review the uh, differentiation formulas, the ones that are just applicable to this presentation. Okay, So write this down, review on differentiation formulas. Alright, so we're going to start by taking a look at the constant rule. So let's say you want to find the derivative of a constant. So if you have a constant a and you want to find the derivative d dx of a constant a, another way of writing the derivative other than d dx is using prime. Okay, so this d dx notation is known as the Leibniz notation, and the prime notation is known as is due to Lagrange. All right, those are mathematicians. Anyway, the derivative of a constant is zero. You think about the rate of change of a constant. A constant is always the same; it never changes. So the rate, the instantaneous rate of change, is zero because it is constant all the time. Now d dx, the constant multiple, the linear case of the constant multiple is ax, so think about a straight line. So what is the rate of change of a straight line? Is, uh, is equal to the slope, right? So d dx of ax or ax prime due to Lagrange is equal to a, and this is as a result of applying the power rule to the x component of this term. Now what if we want to find the derivative d dx of x to the n? Now this is the power rule, okay? So d dx of x to the n using um, the prime notation, x to the n prime due to Lagrange, can be written as you power the exponent n x to the, and then you subtract 1 from the exponent. All right, and then lastly, if we have a multiple of a power. If we want to find the derivative with respect to x of the multiple of a power, um, so let's say we have a x to the n. What we're going to do, which can be written if we want to use um, the prime notation, we can write this as a x to the n prime. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out this constant, okay? So you factor out the constant, um, and then you're left with x to the n prime. And then we can now apply the power rule to this x to the n component, and the final answer will be a n x to the n minus 1. Okay, so just to write down the names, um, this is the constant rule. This is the uh, constant multiple rule the linear case of a constant multiple rule and this right here is the power rule and then here we have the constant um, the multiple of a power this is also the constant multiple rule because you're multiplying a constant by a power but it's not linear it's just a power case okay so here we have the constant multiple rule again the constant multiple rule is basically the derivative of a function multiplied by a constant. All right, so these are the rules we're going to be using for the presentation. Oh wait, there's one more. Actually, it's two in one, which is the um, sum and difference rules. Let's take a look at that also. So if you want to find the derivative d dx due to Leibniz of u, a function u plus or minus v, is the same thing as we can use the prime not notation due to Lagrange u plus or minus v prime. So what you do here is basically term by term differentiation. Okay, If you have the sum and difference of terms of a function you can find the derivative of the add-ins or subtrahends. So this can be written as u prime plus or minus v prime. So this is known as the sum or difference rule. So let's write down the name, sum or difference rule. All 
All right, now let's take a look at some examples. All right, the instructions are for us to differentiate, differentiate the given functions with respect to their um, independent variables. So we're going to have multiple independent variables here, okay? So just differentiate with respect to their individual independent variables, okay? And express, express your answer using the Lagrange. Lagrange is known as the prime notation. The Lagrange and Leibniz notations. Leibniz is the DDX notation. All right, so number one, let's say we have the function y equals 5x to the third minus x plus 3. So this is a function with the um, independent variable of x. So we're differentiating with respect to x here because that's the independent variable. All right, so let's um, go ahead and do it. So we're going to rewrite the function y equals 5x to the third minus x plus 3. So we are trying to find the derivative um, dy dx or ddx of y or dy dx, they mean exactly the same thing, okay? So that's the same thing as y prime, uh, y prime. So we're looking for 5x to the third minus x plus 3 prime. So the first rule we're going to apply is the sum and difference rule, okay? We're going to apply the difference rule and the sum rule. What does that tell us? It tells us that we can differentiate the individual terms that make up this polynomial. Okay, so that's going to be 5x to the third prime minus x prime plus 3 prime. And now we're going to apply our rules here. We apply the constant multiple rule here, constant multiple rule here, the linear case, and then the constant rule here. All right, so when I apply the constant multiple rule here, we can factor out the 5 and differentiate x to the third using the power rule. We know the derivative of x is just the coefficient. The coefficient is 1x, so if you have a linear case, the derivative is always m or the slope of the line because the slope of the line is always constant. So we're going to have 1 right here, okay? On the other hand, the derivative of a constant is 0 because it never changes. Now let's apply the power rule here. We're going to have 5 times 3, you power down the power, and mark down the power by 1. Okay, minus 1. So that yields 5 times 3 is 15. 15x squared minus 1. All right, so let's write down the final answer using Leibniz and Lagrange notation. So dy dx or ddx of y, which is equal to y prime, is equal to 15x squared minus 1. That's the answer to question 1. All right, let's take a look at uh, another question, problem number 2. Let's say we have y equals 5x to the fifth power plus 4x to the third plus 3x. All right, let's go ahead and differentiate again. So we have y equals 5x to the fifth plus 4x squared plus 3x. Now, if we want to find the derivative here. So um, do y dx or d dx of y, which is equal to y prime, involves us differentiating the entire polynomial 5x to the fifth plus 4x squared plus 3x prime. 
okay now I'm gonna skip some steps here since you've already gained exposure to how the prime works we're gonna do term by term differentiation okay but they all have coefficients which can be factored out so I'm gonna proceed to write out my term by term differentiation and factor out simultaneously all right so you know what let me just show you the long way first and in the next example I'll skip steps so we have 5x to the fifth prime plus 4x squared prime plus 3x prime all right so now we can factor out so if we factor out we can factor out 5 5 times x to the fifth prime plus 4 times x squared prime plus 3 times x prime okay all right applying the power rule we're gonna have 5 times so we have this power we're gonna power down this power and mark it down by 1 which is to the fourth power plus same story here 2 times 4 power down the power and then mark down the power by 1 which gives us 1 so let me, let me just write down the intermediate steps so power down and mark down by 1 alright so this is 5 minus 1 this is 4 my uh, 2 minus 1 and then this is uh, plus the derivative of x we know is just 1 if you apply the power rule here you will still end up with the same answer because you will have x to the um, x to the zero to the zeroth power which is just 1 okay all right let's simplify this we have 25 x to the fourth plus 8 x to the first power plus 3 so our answer using the this is the the y dx or Leibniz notation which is equal to y prime Lagrange, not, Lagrange notation is 25 x to the fourth plus 8 x plus 3 all right let's take a look at one more example this one will involve a polynomial function with fractional coefficients okay so let's say we have for number three uh, f of t equals negative three over two t to the fifth minus two over five t to the fourth plus three over four t square okay so we want to find the derivative of this alright so let's write the function f of t equals negative 3 over 2 t to the fifth minus 2 over 5 t to the fourth plus 3 over 4 t square okay so the derivative I'm just gonna use the um, the prime notation due to um, Lagrange so we have f prime of t so if you have a the function in this format you put the prime after the f okay so f prime of t basically means we're differentiating with respect to t okay so if we look at all our differentiation rules since the independent variable is t here we just replace all the formulas um, in the differentiation rule with t okay all right so we're differentiating the whole thing so we have negative 3 over 2 t to the fifth minus 2 over 5 t to the fourth plus 3 over 4 t square prime all right so we're now going to proceed with term by term differentiation okay so uh, we can also factor out the coefficients while we're at it so negative 3 over 2 can be factored out and then we differentiate the variable t to the fifth prime minus we can factor out 2 over 5 and differentiate t to the fourth and then with plus we can factor out 3 over 4 and differentiate t square okay so I apply the sum and product rule and I also apply the constant multiple rule simultaneously all right so let's go ahead and apply the power rule to these three functions here okay so starting with t to the fifth we'll power down that power so we're gonna have negative 3 over 2 
times 5 t to the 5 minus 1 is 4 okay minus then we have 2 over 5 times 4 and then this power becomes t to the 4 minus 1 which is 3 plus 3 over 4 times what? Times 2 times t to the, subtract 1 from the 2, you get 1, or just t. Now let's go ahead and reduce this um, expression. So we have 3 times 5 is 15, so we have negative 15 over 2 t to the 4th, minus 2 times 4 is 8, 8 over 5 t to the 3rd, plus, now you can reduce this, 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 2, so that gives us 3 over 2t. Alright, so our final answer, dy dx, which is equal to y prime, is given by this expression, negative 15 over 2t to the 4th, minus 8 over 5t to the 3rd, plus 3 over 2t. Okay, so that's that. All right, now how well did you try, uh, understand the contents of this presentation? To demonstrate mastery, we'd like you to try out the following problems. So try these. Um, the instructions are still the same. Differentiate um, and express your answer. in um, Lagrange and Leibniz notation. Lagrange, um, which is prime, and Leibniz, which is DDX, um, DDX notation. Alrighty? Okay, so go ahead and try these problems. Um, number one, let's say you want to find a derivative of y equals 4x to the fourth minus 2x to the third minus 5x. Number two, what if you want to find a derivative of y equals 4s to the fifth plus 5s cubed plus 3s squared. Number three, y equals negative 5 over 2x to the third minus 1 half x squared plus 2 third x. Number 4, what if you want to find the derivative of f of x equals 4 over 5 x to the fifth minus 1 over 2 x to the fourth minus 5 over 4 x squared. Alright, go ahead and pause this video and then you can uh, work on the four problems. When you're done, click on play and then we will display what the answers are. Alright, so let's hope that you've had the chance to work on these problems. Let's take a look at what the answers are. So for number one, dy dx, which is equal to y prime, is 16x to the third minus 6x squared minus 5. Number two, dy dx, which is the same thing as y prime, is equal to 20s to the fourth plus 15s squared plus 6s. Number 3, dy dx, which is equal to y prime, is given by negative 15 over 2x squared minus x plus 2 over 3. Number 4, um, df of x, dx, which is equal to f prime of x is given by 4x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus 5 um, over 2x. All right, so go ahead and check your answers. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of um, uh, differentiation rules to give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to address it. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other um, calculus tutorials such as this. For more resources, videos, worksheets, games, and tools, visit our website at mathgotserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.